Hey folks, this is Snark with Snark's Domain. Uh, today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Uh, we're going to test out some acoustic sealant and some silicone caulking. This one's for you, Nathaniel Schroeder. Uh, sorry it took me so long. So I went down to my local hardware store and picked up a tube of the acoustic sealant and put it on the hot plate just like normal 2 millimeter gap, well actually 1.90 millimeters with those, uh, those ball bearings that I use and did the race to 100 just like normal. It was a pretty smelly test, there's lots of VOCs in that uh, acoustic sealant. After that test I was like well it wasn't really a true silicone or not a pure one so then I went back to the store picked up a different tube um, of that like clear caulking for for around like bathtub or sink and it couldn't find a non-hardening one so I just went with the typical one instead ran the test with that and the results were kind of interesting but I think it's because there was like hardeners and a bunch of other stuff going on so yeah let's get to the time lapse here and then we'll talk about the results afterwards So we've got the results. The acoustic sealant did it in 9 minutes and 33 seconds. And the silicone caulking did it in 11 minutes and 45 seconds. So pretty big gap between the two. Um, I'm not sure what kind of additives are in the acoustic sealant. Uh, and it was expanding during the test as, a, as you guys can see in this picture here. Um, and you can also see when I pull it apart, it's really gooey stuff. It took me a long time to clean that up. Uh, the silicone also pressed out uh, during the test, and when I took it apart, it was hardened around the edges, but soft in the middle. Um, I'm not sure if air pockets were created, but like I don't think it had like the perfect ideal contact after it started heating up. So yeah, I might do the test again at some point with the silicone, just for fun, um, where I'll install it on the hot plate with the ball bearing is a 1.9 millimeter gap and maybe let it cure for like a few days maybe even a week 
just to make sure the silicone's like completely dry, do the test again and see what like a cured silicone uh, caulking would do. I don't know if it'll do any better, but wouldn't it be interesting if we could create our own custom thermal pads with silicone caulking that would work for, you know, applications where you can't get like the perfect size? Be kind of interesting. I'm not sure if it's going to work very well, but uh, I might do that in the future. We'll see. So yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, thanks, Nathaniel, for the idea. Sorry it took a while again for me to get to it. Like, I think you've been waiting probably like almost half a year now. So yeah, there you go. Um, hope you guys found that interesting. And maybe it's like a half decent baseline um, for what like a normal silicone would do. Uh, but I've actually got some other tests that you guys are going to want to see uh, in the next video. So uh, stay tuned.